Hello my friends, welcome to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan and I want to thank you so much for for joining uh, and we're gonna start here by showing you how you can design a pug. All right, it's gonna be a dog and I'm looking forward to have you uh, creating with me after this live streaming. And remember that you can send your design in, on my Instagram and also on the Vectorize Club, all right? All the links will be available here below, so don't forget that you can also leave it a like later because it's very important to this channel. And let me know already if it's working, uh, okay, on the shot, the live streaming, okay? Just let me know because sometimes it doesn't work, <laughs> all right? So, look, you guys can join on the Vectorize Club where you can just get even more tutorials and unlock all the tutorials available uh, only on there. All right. Some li some of these uh, of live streamings are are free, of course, to watch. But later it becomes closed, and it's very important for your progress. I suggest you to join because you can learn even more, really. So you have seven days free trial uh, to test and see if you, you like. Okay, feel free. All right. So and let me show you what you're gonna do. <laughs> Look, my friends, we're gonna create this little guy here. Let me show you. I just, I just I just placed it on here pug and that then I got this result and I want to show you my process my process is very simple if you are familiar already I think that you are doing amazing illustrations already it's just a matter of time until you see your skills getting better and I always like to split my process in step step by step and if you are comfortable please just let me know uh, if you can hear me well Okay, thank you so much. Hello, uh, Imperial. Uh, uh, you are, are asking already about how to export to Affinity to Moho. I can explain later, right? I don't know what is Moho to be honest with you, but I can explain how you can export. All right. Thank you, Ariadna. Hello, Verla, Paul. Hello, my friend, Damien. Angela, South Bay, Bob Biro. Hello, my friend, Peter. Hello, Peter. Uh, Rene, Hepix. Hello, Carmen. Eileen. Just amazing friends here. Hello, Daniel. Okay, so the first thing that I like to suggest you is always get references. Don't try to get everything from your head, my friend. I will just uh, look, I will get the most cute one. I think this one here is very nice. <laughs> look, <laughs> I will just, uh, you can save or take a screenshot. You can click here, take a sc uh, screenshot. Let me show you. There is a button here below. Ah, it's here again why is not working let me try to test let me try ah it's here look is this button here in my side oh sorry guys okay it's here <laughs> the screenshot all right oh, just copy copy here and then let me just decrease here all right and then you can just paste inside of affinity or procreate in anywhere really the the workflow is the same paste and here we go my friends uh, i have this reference to use already and one thing that i like to explain always is that you need to understand all the shapes that you are going to create we can focus on here only on the face and later we can just study the body the body shapes as well and i always like to show you these examples that i'm gonna do right now if I create a pixel layer and I try to understand all the shapes, let me grab here. I'm using the pixel persona is responsible for the drawing purpose. And then I will just grab here this color just to understand all the shapes. So I have a circle on here. Okay. And I have, oh, let me change this color right now. And I have this shape here. Can you see? By doing this, I can notice two shapes already and also of course the eyes let me change this color so you can see the difference between them eyes here this knot here i can design later this knot so it's very nice to understand already all the shapes that you can create and also i have some lines over here it really depends about the art style that you want to create right now i'm just studying is better the best way to make vector, I'd say, is to study first the topic that you want to create. 
I hope that it's very clear for you right now about this process. This is a unique process. Okay, there is not no hack on the internet about this. All right, so I got here already. Oh look, can you see? I could vector this already, my friend. This is the vectorize. Look at this. Okay, not ready yet. We we need to understand even more if you want. But just with this sketch, I could start already with the vector, and I want to prove that you don't need to have master drawing skills. Drawing skills is just to understand about the form that you want to create first. All right. But uh, look at this. Ellipse. Grab ellipse. And then I just grab a rondo color for now. I'm not focusing over the colors. Look, my principle here, my friend. I have the shape, and here is the color. Okay. Look, let's do only the face for now. Ellipse and draw the head. Of course, I need to see the, sh the drawing that I did. You know, the sketch at least. Look, bring this below. There you go. I have the sketch over my, my ellipse. And let me just change this color that I have. I'll make something more clear. Something like this, all right? Something like this. And okay, look, I will draw right now this shape that is below. This is not, okay? Look at this. You can use the paint tool, use a few, grab a, another color just to have a distinction between the shapes. Because if you use the same color from the color behind, it, it's going to merge and we will not be able to notice which color it is, you know, and it's important to know which color you are creating. All right. And then I will just group this already. I want to group these shapes because it's important to group already your project. All right. And look, now I have the shape. Now I just draw here the shape, all right? Uh, boom. And then symbols, add symbol. It's here. Okay, a symbol because I want to mirror these eyes. And look what I got so far. A very minimalistic version of the pug. Okay, I hope that this makes very sense because this is a very primary stage. We call this in 3D as blocking, you know, block out stage as well. And after that, you can, for example, you can start to make the curves. Look at this. These are, you know, our shape here. And I will bring this inside of this ellipse. And then I can select all these nodes here and make this smart. And what we got on here as well, it's that this is a curve. It's not a low poly uh, stage that I did previously, all right? And then look, with just these shapes, I can have let me see here, oh, the years, remember about the years, <laughs> I forgot about the years. And also look, of course the details we're gonna start to add, all right, now look. It's very simple, look how the shape works. If I vector this over right now, over my, my image, look at this, one, two, three, four, five. I have the low poly technique that is very fast. Can you see this similar shape that we got on here? This is low poly because we have few points as possible. We don't have this. Can you see that we have a curve right now? And how you can add a curve on here? My friend, look at this. You can just uh, drag here. Okay, I have a curve. That's Boom. Crazy. Smart. Smart here. This, there's a curve here, all right? Can you see a curve? All right, my friend. There is a curve. Smart here. And then let me just adjust this point there you go look did i want to, i want to see you practicing right i don't i don't want to just watch me i won't take so much for a watch all these tutorials that i do but it's important i want to see your progress i want to see you growing in your skills all right and i'm, I'm here to teach you my friend look i got the same shape right this is the best way to practice vector over using the low poly technique and then you make it as smart simple like that there is no secret at all right and okay so after that i can bring this here to here okay yeah my friend this is the vectorize i teach you the best ma methods ever right oh, look the fastest one look i can bring this here to here or and also you can duplicate and apply to here. You can use the way that you feel comfortable, all right? Well, let's apply and flip. 
all right flip like this here this panel that is called transform panel you can click in this icon in order to flip simply like that all right look okay and think about this we got this result so far oh look it is a very let's say a very minimalistic version of our pug very minimalistic can you see if I reduce the size and we compare let me just clip with the group right now and you will be able to understand even more all right so can you see we have a simplified information over this character right here and now that we have this very simple informations you can start to add the simple colors for example you can use by choosing from your eyes like this oh, look this is a bit dark and so bring it to, bring it to dark all right there you go you can add a, a little bit of color right here if you want can you see i'm looking at my screen so i can see how you guys are seeing as well but can you see don't try to make 100 percent black for now because uh if you add later some line yards like this one you will not be able to see so what is important to understand we have values on here we have values and the values are very important to understand um, in all situations without values we will not be able to make distinctions between the colors my friend hello Sarah hello Douglas my friend Doug hello Danilo Fioco he, this guy is a very master of a film designer he's a Brazilian as well thank you my friend for joining us today look so I will start to apply the color. I hope that it makes a lot of sense for you. All right, about this explanation that I'm doing for now, and just make the colors right here, my friend. Oh, look, we have a, a, a bit of dark, you know, ears right, right here. But no, no worries, no worries. You can always color these ones like this. Boom. And then remember about the the eyes. Oh, look how simple it is, my friend. I can make this as black there you go oh. and then can you see uh, we have a small gradient over here gradient is a transition between one color to another and I will show you in a very practical way how it works if I show you in this way here I, I want to show you in a more let's say painting style way okay how we can understand about the transitions about the colors alright so it starts always with Two colors for example we have a uh, look we have this color that I got right now from the color picker pay attention to this my friend pay attention to this because this is very important for your progress you are not just a designer you are becoming an illustrator and artist as well so join, join me already uh, look and you see here how the vectorize works okay and uh, uh, look at this look at this I will just let me grab this color it's here can you see I have a color picker drag onto here and there you go okay pixel layer and I will expl explain right now how the transition works okay I have this solid color this is a hundred percent semi color no transition at all and then I will grab this color from here and then this is the second color we have flat colors over here and then if I use the smudge brush this one here can you see Oh, look guys you can use the same functionality from iPad and also on desktop and also even Photoshop if you want all right all the tools are almost 99% equals what changed is the UX all right uh, uh, smudge tool and then I will grab let me grab this soft brush I'm using the standard from affinity but you can consider to get my brushes on my green road as well if you want all right, I'll get this one and I will just blend them. What, what, what I'm getting on here? What I'm getting on here, my friend, let me just grab my brush because it's so far better than the affinity brushes, to be honest with you. Let me try this one, or this one, ah, much better. So, what I'm getting here, the result, it is a transition of the, for on the colors, okay? Uh, I'm getting a transition. This is how the gradient works. By by doing this, you can be able to see the transitions and also use these colors over here, my friend. Can you see? And then look at this. Let me add some highlights over these eyes because it is 
let me just duplicate this or duplicate resize make this as white or oh, this one here okay there is a shape and in this oh, this one can you see there is a shape here oh, let me show you and also uh, don't forget to save your project is very important <clears throat> let me open here again oh look ellipse duplicate this one I'll make as white all right make as white there is a below and I will resize this one there you go okay there you go look what I'm getting right now and then I can just duplicate this one again resize and make this as white can you see the result that I got the way that I do eyes is very easy very easy in just a few steps you can have nice eyes and this this is character here you know this pug we have something that makes uh, him very cute I say it's the eyes the eyes very you know let's say big so we can try to manage uh, to bring a bigger eyes for this character all right, how you can do that? It's very easy. You can just resize here uh, from from this group. Can you see? And resize. Oh, look. You can make big eyes if you want, just by resizing. All right, make everything grouped. You also can do this uh, this one here. Look, if I change, can you see that it's moving here together? It's because of the symbol tools. All right. Thank you so much, Doug. <laughs> I really appreciate your their feedback okay so what you can do it is to clip can you see uh, this shape here it is below I don't want this I want to see this shape above and just drag and drop drag and drop inside and above of this uh, this one here there you go all right and then uh, I want to make something very nice for this character oh look you guys it's very important to understand this remember it's moving together but you can detach this option detach because you can move this separately right you can move this separately right now so the symbol is not working anymore because i have just um turned off this this option and then i would just bring this eyes over here and this one look i will bring over here and then i will duplicate again make sure and duplicate over again and apply to another side it's not 100% correct about to have the opposite highlights but sometimes this works very nice for this kind of character to be honest with you and right now what I'm gonna do I will start to add this knot this one here there is a shape and remember about the very very beginner uh, let's say sketch that I did All right, let me show you we have a line we have another line here okay and if you try to vector from this one your your brain will get confused about the, a lot of information we have a lot of details can you see I have details here 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 there are many of details that's why it's so important first of all to grab the essence how you can grab the essence my friend paint tool and just draw over oh look I have this knot here let me just change this color because I want to see what is behind just decrease the opacity right after you create the vector over you can just decrease the opacity and you will be able to see what's behind so I can also add let's say a shape here that will be let's say a hole the hole you know from here make it as black duplicate and flip there you go this one can be a bit rounded it, it is can you see it is in low poly then I'll group this all right and bring it to here I'm teaching you right now how you can bring elements from from the images to here and also if you want if you are, if you are familiar already with sketch you can uh, make from your references okay so I'll make this as 100% black for now and then I can make this rounded select all the nodes and smart there we go 
my friends there is a look there is opacity on here and i want to get back with the look can you see let me change these ones and then oh the opacity is here and i'll make this 100 percent black there you go increase look remember there is one point that is very nice if you want to add in your design it is the highlight look i can add a small shape here it's here but i will paint as white look can you see i will do this again so i can repeat and you see how it works what i did it is look pay attention pencil tool if you have this option enabled this option here below use fill it will create a shape with a fill inside look I will draw right now there we go and then you can change this color here below if you want and simple like that you have a vector that you can change the color here below simple like that okay look I have a, a small highlight here at the top you can also if you want you can also add a small blending in order to have this nice result look can you see how it's becoming and remember about the the mouth here i can add a line and then i will add from here look how this shape works you see oh, we have this kind of curve i'm gonna show you right now all right oh, I mean, i'm showing you in a very practical way if you don't have drawing skills look paint tool this is a line this is not look if you use the fill tool it's gonna happen this you can see we have a few we need to use let me just make the camera a little bit more focused just a second okay things better now and here below we have the stroke right the stroke is here let me show you in a different color this one i will remove the few i don't want to have few and i want to reduce the line size in order to follow this detail that we got on here all right and i'll explain right now the difference between uh as katie uh, is asking for example if you use the difference between them my friend it is this oh look smart it will create let's say can you see we have two nodes over here and if you click here actually the difference of them is that this is let's say better than this move this move look this move we will try to make oh look this is smart okay oh, smart and this move this move we will try to follow the line from the beginning but i always use smart to be honest with you i always use smart okay because the difference between the is very very subtle it doesn't make a lot of, of, of huge difference to be honest with you so i i, I always stick with the sharp that is low poly or smart only this all right if you if you want to use move feel free but this is the difference it's very subtle okay so oh can you see i am following this line and then i can make something like this all right look and then i can use the pencil to and draw over and get this result okay now look i will also try to take advantage of these lines that we got on here okay and also this one on here as well can you see here we have the this eye socket here below it's very nice because by doing this you guys will be able to understand your your project what you are creating okay it's very important and right now i'll just grab all this line that i did i'll grab all these lines and i'll bring to my character and of course you perhaps you will notice hey it's not fitting so well no problem at all my friend no problem at all because we we will adapt this in your character look look at this my friend look at this <laughs> this vector eyes i'll bring this inside again over our let's say our curve our group but of course let me just oh, reopen again you can save here the top right you can save from here 
but sometimes I, I think that this is more safe to get back and, and you know, open again the project. All right, so here, here we go. Can you see that we have these lines that I did? I hope so. And I'll just bring this, let me, let me just organize these eyes and bring this inside, of course. It's important always to arrange your project, all right? Always arrange by drag and drop. Okay, so <clears throat> remember about that I did the, all the lines. All the lines are in purple. And then I can change the colors right here, look. Can you see? Can change here. And uh, this shape, can you see? I can make with a few, like this. Oh, look. Make a few. And basically what's happening is that I'm just adding the the details can you see that we are digging into more details right now and this shape here this line let me clean this line of course this line can become a vector brush you you see you see how it works for example if I open right now the vector brushes right you can just for example open here or oh, change the to vector brush if you want. Remember about this this explanation that I, I told you before. The transition of the colors. You can do the transitions. Oh look, it's a hundred percent black. I don't want this color for now. I want to blend this with the color behind. How you can do this? It's very simple. I like to do it in this way. I really like to do it in this way. Just reduce the opacity and change the blend mode to something that will you make it better uh, the overlay is great i really love to use the overlay in this situation that we got look okay uh, look and i can try another ones you can try as well so the shading that is very nice it is this color here that we got can you see and then i will start to make more adjustments over this design the the head here can you see let me just hide the the years for now uh, look <laughs> this is our let's say structure it's ugly for now for now okay but i can adjust this by making this look i can add this shape here all right just like that i'm busy my friend don't call me right now <laughs> so there you go my friend look i can make some adjustments over the shape the head shape Oh, now I have here and I can make some adjustments can you see in this stage that I'm doing that's why I love vector that that's why I really love to use vector because you can always change everything and can you see we have also more more dark shapes here in alongside with the eye so you can try to consider to add this this shape as well if you want if you remember look if you remember the shapes that I did previously I can bring this onto here now look I'm showing you my friends in a very easy way very easy way that you can let's say use a reference and build your design without having drawing skills okay I got this and I can apply right now oh look these vector brushes you can get my vector brushes the master vector brushes is the best <laughs> for on the internet really and you can switch to others of course you need to adjust the size if you want to use properly oh, I, I'm gonna use this one okay look how it's becoming and this one here as well I can change to here okay look and you I'm using here can you see I'm using the opacity so this is so great because I can make the shadow over here. Can you see? Oh, look, boom, boom, boom. I will make in this area. Okay. Just like that. And remember about this, this mouth here. I will make a transition about the colors. So I can apply the elliptical mode. Oh, look. And I will just... 
I'll make it just a subtle color here light to the dark about the head shape it's flat color yet we just have this this gradient over here and you can do this look I will just select my head shape fill tool and then I can apply here oh look the shading look how it's becoming remember about the purpose line art that I did it was very ugly and by the time my friend this is how the vectorizer works right this stage here is very ugly <laughs> but it's the best way and fast way where you can build your your design and then you can go further to the colors and then focus on the values right now I'm working over here can you see details doom doom I did lines I did the values lines the, this is the guys that will make the difference at the end of your product this is what's happening right now I'm making the difference from the the geometric shapes to something more organic and let me just blend here uh, this color is flat and I want to blend these ones look here we go boom and here we go and boom and I leave the like if you are enjoying this it's important for the channel isn't you know I, I, I always like to remind you uh, YouTube will only understand that this is a good channel if you leave the like, right? And it's difficult, you know, to always bring tutorials on here. It's very difficult. And demanding, you know, you need to put a lot of efforts. So I'm sharing with you, my friend, how the best techniques ever on the internet. It's free. <laughs> so let me just open right now. Remember about the ears? Oh, I can just bring here and I can make some adjustments right now. Okay. Uh. I want to make something more let's say cute something like this I think it's, it's fine all right I'll look we have an edge here you don't need to follow exactly 100% this this one you can use your your skills in order to match even more so let me duplicate this one here you can use the symbols if you want symbols there we go duplicate and flip there we go i got this result very nice and if you want change and it's gonna change another one if you want to use the vector brushes if you want look at this look at this my friends insert inside vector brush and then look change the master grab this color from here it's fine a little bit light remember you need to keep selected it needs to be selected in order to use the insert inside and then the vector brush boom and boom look and boom and boom uh, the shading there's there's a shade over here that I'm applying look again okay very simple simple like that and there you go okay in both sides it's fine there you go oh uh, look I can also just let me resize here the the head shape a little bit and then I can just like that I'm not going to draw the body because it takes time you know to build everything and you know me that I like to teach you my friend I like to teach you in just one hour everything that is very important for you for your progress as artist and designer illustrator whatever you are but I'm very excited to show you everything that will speed up your process that you will learn a lot read a lot and I hope that you are enjoying a lot, okay? So let's get back here to the vectorizer, friend. Vectorizing. Look, and uh, let me just bring here this line. Can you see these lines that I, I have? I want to bring this inside here, oh. and then I'll fix this this line because it's not fitting so so nice here. So I want to to make it clean, simplify it. You are simplified we can do this hmm. Let me adjust this we can make something like this as well oh look let me bring it here I like this expression to be honest with you hmm. bring this onto here you can also if you want you can add 
a gradient over the eyes if you want look let me just apply here there is a uh, the eyes bows can you see uh, this one here looks nice as well but this one here is so fun and then vector brush i will grab the john calm for now okay this one and then i will just create more shadings I want to create more shadings. Oh, look. Here. And here, a little bit here. Some details I will change later, right? I'm just making some shadows here. Apply more. Because this car really have a lot of details on his face and we need, we need to simplify all these informations oh look i can apply here let me take a look at the reference oh look how many lines we have we need to simplify stuff we don't need to make it very high highly detailed it depends about the art style that you are creating and here i can add You can also, if you want, make the blend, the blend modes by using the vector brush, if you want. Uh, I'll draw over. You can draw over if you want. Multiple times. But remember, <laughs> each time that you draw, it's going to create a, a layer. So be careful with this. And let me blend this a little bit more. Okay. I'll close this curve for now. Just here. Okay, it's fine for now. And you need to manage, right? About to make the blending with the color that is behind and, and the front. And of course, obviously, we could add the body just by using this shape here. L let me show you in just a few steps. One, two, three. Here. And I bring this below and I can just make this look <laughs> simple like that there we go I will draw my just few steps I can do this boom and of course I want to blend this shape you see you see let me create more nodes here because I want to add more lines oh there you go you can add the vector brush if you want in order to have this effect look it's only made with vector brush the way that I do all right and then I will grab this color I can blend a little bit look I have just one side okay and I can duplicate and flip this into here there you go very simple right <laughs> and then I can let's see add, yeah, I will add another shape here below I like this stroke to be honest I could I really could add the stroke later I could so hmm, flip here this is uh, our guy insert inside in order to draw the vector brush that will create the shadow can you see here below i need to add just a small shadow very subtle you see it needs to be very below of the neck in that case a bit dark there you go here you go my friend of course obviously i i can add more gradients over here because if you start to add gradients here you need to apply in everything basically this is how I see my stuffs. So as I'm doing this already, let me finish this, right? So paste style, grabbing from this one to here, vector brush over again, insert inside. Look, you don't need to learn all the software, really. You just need to know few few tools in order to have a nice result. Select this color here for now. It's fine here. I will add a blending here inside and here. I 
it's fine here. And here, can add here, here, put white, here. Set a color from this one. It's here, color picker and draw. Why I'm doing this? Because this is a cylindrical you know, shape, it's a rounded shape. So if we just leave with shadow, it will not look like there is a, a more layers behind. That's why I like to add this transition. Light, shadow, light and shadow. It's important to always think this way, all right? And add always a little bit of light on here. Gradient, light, gradient. Using I'm using here the vector brush, as I said alongside with the transparency it is quite simple and very effective i'd say i can make you know like this i can make his eyes i'm oh, sorry his lines from this tongue like this i like this one because right <laughs> look how nice it is it's very simple right and let me just reduce his body i think it's too big i want to make this simplified one now look <laughs> and for the head let me change a little bit let me know if it's working the live stream right let me see okay I hope that is working because I was very focused on here in creating this uh, let me just make this one here I want things you know the patrons to support all these contents. Without you, I, I would never be able to um, uh, to keep doing tutorials. It's hard, you know, to work as freelancer and keep doing tutorials. And you know, it's hard, very hard. You know, sometimes I need to work <laughs> overworked or workaholic or something. Something. Oh, uh, look, I can. I want to make this bigger. I think it's nice. Very big eyes. <laughs> very funny right and perhaps this is not here is too big uh, if I reduce the size I think it's gonna be more fun you know I don't know let me see this line art here I, I will try to get rid of this one for now just for now okay in this stage I'm just make some adjustments Uh, lock this in order to select this line art I have a line art here it's fine and then I want to to apply just a small gradient here uh, don't worry right why I'm doing these steps is the part of the process I look a bit just a small red here <laughs> that will represent the eyes can okay, make it as white Ah, this is not here. Just a sec, okay. Before we wrap up this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is a very cute character, really. Okay, guys. So, we have a very simplified version of our character. As you guys can see, it was very fun. And I will show you how you can create, you know. Of course, as I said, you can add the gradient over all the face but it really depends about the design that you want to, you know to to make if you if you do it this way and uh, le let me know if you have questions all right on the chat I'm, I'm looking forward to to answer all your questions all right and let's let's see here thank you guys so much you know and I'm very happy to know that you, you you guys are enjoying all the lessons. You know, I tried here to simplify all the the shapes in order to show you in a very small step by step, in very explained way. Of course, I could design this a bit faster or more detailed, but I hope that you you got the idea, right? I hope that you got at least this head idea. Or if I add, let me just apply uh, as an, an icon. If we add this as an icon, look, I have here an icon for this character, right? Look. 
and let me know about your questions. I hope that you have learned a, a lot about this tip, the gradient tip. This was done with, uh, let's say, the smudge. It's like a painting. If you are familiar with painting, this is how it works. But with gradient, it is very easy as well. You can just look at this rectangle, grab this color from here, fill tool, apply here, and then we got a gradient. This is the difference between raster and vector. The vector, you can change this easily and faster. If you try to do this using painting, you, you need to erase everything and draw over again. That's why I don't I don't like to use Procreate. I don't it's very hard, you know, to use I mean rare to use Procreate because it doesn't it's for me it's very delayed. My process is using just the drawing, then I get into the vector and I do my stuff. I I have three freelancers job <laughs> that I will work. And yeah, I do a lot of stuff to be honest with you. And about, I, I remember that there's a guy that asked it, oh look, you can join, oh, let, me, let me make my advertisement because this is the only way that I can you know, support and you can support my work. You can join the Vectorize Club if you want to learn much more. But let me tell you this, if you guys or someone else here that is not from the Patreon, for example, ah, leave it to all this later or forget or something. My friend, you you lose you lose the access to these tutorials because I I open the YouTube and make the videos private. Okay, so I suggest you a lot about to watch the lessons from the beginning until the end, and we have free lessons available for a few days. If you want to learn much more, in, and if you want to unlock all the tutorials that I did, you can join on there. And I want to see you, you know, uh, doing awesome work as well. All right. And remember, we have released lessons like this one recently. Oh, this one. Okay. I've been as I'm, I've been moving to a new house. This is my new work studio that I'm, I'm I'm recording and I'm living here. And I hope that for the upcoming lessons that I will be creating for the Vectorize Club, it will be amazing. It will be advanced. And of course basic stuffs and I want to bring with you some lessons like this ones I want to study more and I want to share with you my process of study and for example we're gonna focus one week by let's focus on the ear uh, sorry <laughs> the nose let's draw nose and then we are gonna vector you know, the nose just like that uh, boom all right so how to vector nose and another week how to vector mouth so it's gonna be just awesome all right so i'm preparing uh kind of lessons weekly lessons that you can learn uh specific situations and bring to your your life to your job and ever everywhere really i think this will be a unique on the internet focused in each element that you get very you know let's say good at this thing for example if we struggle about drawing you no know, nose you learn in just one hour or two hours, whatever. I don't know how much time it will take from you. You will learn a lot, my friend. I'm planning this. I'm very planning this. But the main idea is to how to draw and vector. How to draw and vector. I think it's going to be a really game changer in your life. All right. So I want to answer questions from a guy that uh, asked about how to export to Moho. I don't know, my friend, what is Moho. But if you want to export, let me show you this example. For example, here, this is the avatar that you guys get on the Vectorize Club if you join on there. All right, just example as example. But in order to export, you just need to click here on the top or on desktop. Click on the export persona, and then here in this panel, you you need to create this slice. After you create this slice. You will export as PNG. It it will be displayed like this PNG, okay? And then hit here the top in this icon and select the folder you want. My friend, really, 
There is no secret at all about how to export using Affinity. In just five minutes of Google, you, you, you can learn that. All right. And click here, export persona, select the player that you want to export, create a slice, select the mode, PNG, all right, and then export. Oh, four steps is, is all you need to export. And in order to show you just even more further, I don't want to leave you guys you know, alone. And I will share you view my screen, desktop screen right now. Okay, you see. Oh, look. This is my screen. Okay. And then here, uh, of course, this is a game that I did with some some friend of mine. And look, let me change here. This. I hope it, can you can you can you guys see my screen? I hope so. Let me open this guy here. There is animation here, right? If I play, let me play. And change the plane here to another one. This one. Just a second. And let's leave it this for now. But the thing is, oh look, I can animate, and you need to export all the images separately. Like oh, I have the head here. Let me show you. The head is separately. The eyes, brows, the ears. You know, the eyes. Everything is very separately. Why? Because I need to animate this. Everything. So you need to rig your project if you want to make animations, like I do. And then you need to set up everything. This is export as PNG. And then you, you create the bone and then make the, how the animations are happening, all right? So I've just uh, changed everything here so you can see. But the animation here that I do is just like that. Look, this is a rig process. And if you ask, hey, John, wh where is the animation tutorial? My friend, this software here, it, it, there is no no audience to to teach you know this software. It's an expensive software, and there is really few people that have the software. And for me, to teach just three people for me it doesn't worth the time, you know. And that's why I don't do tutorials for animations for now. But in the future, if the software become affordable or available to everybody, of course I will do that. And here, look, I can make. Can you see? All these animation. This software is called Spine Pro. If you are wondering about this software, so I've created all these these planes here. Let me just see here. Oh, this one. Ah, okay, it's here. There is a bit of mess on here. Okay, my apologize because it's been a while since I haven't opened this project. Let me hide here this character just for now. I'm showing you behind of this of the scene. So if I play here, can you see? There's animation here. Oh, let me just apply. Oh, look. Can you see? Uh, I've just rotated this one. Oh, look. This one, can you see? I've just rotated this. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, my friend, the animation process is very technical. It's very technical. And uh, it's, it's something very demanding as well. Why it's technical, if you ask me? It's because you need to have a lot of, of course, technical knowledge in order to split all these assets and make these tweaks of course everybody can do if you study a lot you can do all right you can do let me see here the questions <clears throat> spine pro yeah it's spine pro i use i use spine pro right but it's a software that you can do for games especially for games i'd say but really guys uh focus in just one stuff if you want to learn even more get a free software Unless if you are, let's say, living and working with these stuffs. And let me know if it's working, okay, the live stream. Because uh, I think it's dropped. It. And back here. Just a sec. All right, my friend. And I'm back here. I hope that. So that's all. I hope that you enjoyed a lot this tutorial. Really, really. And it means a lot for me. To, to teach you everything related that what I know you know me and your support is very welcome to the Vectorize Club ah, oh my gosh I think I will forget uh, but I, I can I can be able to join you on the discord let me show you really let me show you I need to show you to everybody this thing just a sec my friend look at this ah, this is my screen right <clears throat> Look, the result from the Vectorize Club. <laughs> this is the shot from the Vectorize Club. It is not the Jonathan, you know, Vectorize cast. 
This is just cast where you can see my newsletter, but the Vectorize Club is only available for members. Look. <clears throat> Damn, <what> this <laughs> my God, look at this, so nice. All these eyes that I sent you guys as well. You create this, all right? It's so awesome. Okay, very great. The Vectorize Club is very, you know, I really have a lot of fun with these guys. This is art for is from Vela. You can send your design on the Vectorize Club. We are, we will, are, we will don't judge you, your skills. We try to have fun, really. <laughs> Eileen, I look, I love that. <laughs> this expression, look. Very cool. Oh, poor, pa uh, you know, tired paper. And next one from Peter. I know this guy here. This, this expression, I think it is, I, I forgot the name. Oh, it's from the Christmas movie, I guess. My God, <laughs> I look at this. This car, these guys are so creative. This is the Vectorize Club, really. Uh, guys, the, news, the newsletter is on the, um, on the Telegram, the Jonathan Silva, this one, available on the link below, all right? It's just to tell you that we are gonna have live streaming and other stuff that are available to download. It's the free access to my content, to be honest. Well, the premium access is here. So it's just awesome to see you guys posting. Sometimes I'm not 100% you know, online because I work a lot here with other stuff, but I'm always willing to answer your questions, help people. You know, you guys are so amazing. Yeah, it is, it is gr Grinch. Yeah, yeah. On Discord, I'm not on Discord right now, uh, but I will be available, I can be available on there soon. I, I, I will need to walk with my dog later. But, okay. So guys, I hope that you really enjoyed this lesson. It was very fun to work with you, you know, showing you all this process and back here. And then next week we're gonna have another tutorial and upcoming ones. I'm very happy and excited to teach you in every week new stuff. Okay, thank you so much and see you. All right, bye bye my friends. See you.